Say hi, Bernie. Say good morning. Welcome to Vlog Sember Day. Oh my gosh. I think it's the 15th. <gasps> yes, it is, Bernie. That means Tiffy till Santa comes and brings you stuff. Bernie has kind of been a wild boy this morning. Oh, who's that? Hi, Meeple. <gasps> Look at who's coming to hang out. Want to go see her? Go check her out. Say hi, sister. Hi, sister. He's so interested in her. She's interested in him, too. You guys could be great friends. Bernie doesn't want to hurt you, Meatball. Okay, dude, that's not going to help her. She's going to be more scared of you now. Come here, Meatball. Meatball, come on. Interesting day today. Um, I had therapy scheduled with my mom. We normally go on Thursdays and I had so much to do today. This whole week, if you guys haven't noticed, my vlog's been super lame because I have been working a ton. So I'm working now, I'm working today, and um, I had my friends Kristen and Riley, my high friends from high school, coming over tonight to play with Bernie. And I didn't think I'd have enough time to go to therapy and do all the work I did and have them over tonight. So I canceled therapy, which is fine because we've been doing a lot of it lately anyway and we're canceling next week because it's Christmas. So I was like, might as well just start after the holidays. But then my friend Riley told me she was sick, which is actually kind of okay because I have so much to do. Like I was feeling really stressed out anyway. But now I don't have therapy or my friends coming over, so I have like a super boring day. Josh is going to dinner with his brother, so it's just me and the burn here. I think I'm gonna go get a spray tan pretty soon though, cause I'm looking pretty pale. Bernie's new thing is sitting under the blankets with me and taking a nap while I edit. That's good boy, right? Is that what a good boy does? <laughs> so I'm headed out now to get a spray tan, and I'd be looking real good, like, Bitch, you wish you were me. Check out this outfit. Ready? First of all, we got the scarf with the boohoo jacket. This is a lovesick scarf. I think this jacket's boohoo. It might be torn, actually. Penn State sweatshirt. Victoria's Secret sweats with some Ugg boots. Only real way to do it, girl. I really kind of want a coffee. Like a peppermint mocha. So I think I'm going to go run to Starbucks and get that. Just because I can't believe... Christmas days in 10 days, and then all the fun drinks and everything will go away, and that makes me sad, so I need to get some. Okay, so how cute is this? Snowman cake pop. So cute. It's so fun having a dog now because I know when I come home, he's gonna be like super excited to see me. Mr. Ben! Hi, buddy! Are you excited that I'm home? Oh, this is a good boy. Let me get you out. So I think I'm going to make Bernie a little Kong for tonight. Josh is having dinner with his brother out. So it's just me and Bern. And I think I'm just going to have like leftover chili from last night. So I thought I'd make Bernie a little Kong. And I had Josh pick me up some unsweetened applesauce because one of you guys told me to try that. So I'm about to test it out and see if Bernie even likes applesauce. Okay, so you have some unsweetened uh, now all natural applesauce. I'm going to let Mr. Bern try it. Sit. 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 Good boy. Let's see what he thinks of that. Ooh, that's different. Wasn't what you expected, was it? Oh, I don't know why I even test anything. Bernie likes everything. It's so weird because my Havanese Chance, the one that I grew up with, he is so picky about everything, but Bernie like loves to eat. So Bernie loves Cheerios. We use them to train him. These are just plain Cheerios. And I was just reading online that it's a great thing to mix with the applesauce in a Kong. So we're gonna try that for tonight. So I plugged up the bottom with a Cheerio and some peanut butter, and now I'm gonna fill the actual Kong with the stuffing. Okay, so I think these are, um, Bernie, quiet down. That's my thing, guys. If any of you have tips about how to make your dog stop barking, I need help because he's so cute and hard to discipline, but he's bad. No bark. No bark. No bark. He's so desperate to come over here. Anyway, I got these. They're like kind of like trays so that I can work on my computer at the couch. I got two of them, one for me and one for Josh. And I ordered them forever ago and they just got here. I think that's what these are, I'm assuming. 
Okay, so yes, that is definitely what these are, but they're gonna require a little assembly. Quiet! I already disciplined him and put him in his pen and he still does it. I don't know what to do. Okay, so I finished it. I think it looks really cute. Um, it's a little flimsy on the top because it has suction cups to keep the glass on, but I don't know, it was a really fair price, so I'm gonna try it out. Okay, this was exactly what I was looking for. Perfect. And then we can also like eat on them and just perfect. Okay, so then if you remember from another vlog, um, I made a huge uh, Bath and Potty Works order on Black Friday, and I thought the order didn't go through because I couldn't find the confirmation. So when I had another candle sale, I bought more. Turns out both orders went through, so I got a fuck ton of candles, and it's really a pain in the ass to return them, so I'm just gonna keep them. Seriously, don't even remember what I got, though, so let's find out. Okay, so we got Vanilla Blossom. This one smells really good and fresh. Got a stress relief one. These ones are always good to have. Black Currant Vanilla. This one's classic, and I think it smells like, yeah, like Skittles. Whoa, that one got a little crazy on top, but I think it smells like Skittles. This actually used to be the one that was the sexy aromatherapy. It's the same scent, and I still have, like, my sexy one from, like, two years ago, and I only break it out every once in a while because I actually really love this smell. Okay, so I 100% did not order this, but okay, sounds good. And then I got Fireside. Ooh, that one smells really good. Very manly, like cologne or something. And Lily seriously just loves to smell like plastic or any type of packaging. She likes styrofoam. I don't know why. She just loves it. She loves it. Are you huffing it, though? Should I be concerned about you? Don't eat it. Why do you like tape so much? She likes to lick tape. Does anyone else's cats do that? She's the only one of our cats that does that. Mmm, guys, this one smells so good. Classic marshmallow fireside, but it has like sparkly um, snowflakes on it. Oh. Might have to light this one tonight. I love that one. Eucalyptus mint. I actually have never smelled this one before, but mmm, just smells like the stress relief. I think it actually is just the stress relief. When I used to work at Bath and Body Works, we would always notice that they would have the same candle wax and just like add different dyes to it to make it different colors, like the actual wax. And then they would like put it in a different package and try to <laughs> resell it. So okay, and this one came right out of the package, which is fine though, because it can just go back in. And once I melt it, it'll it'll stay in. And this one is these fancy ones. This is smoked vanilla. It smells uh, very similar to marshmallow fireside, but a little lighter. And these are one of those fancy ones, and they don't come with lids. I just don't understand that. So I got seven. <laughs> I'm crazy, I should have enough candles to last me a very fucking long time. Okay, so it's dinner time for Mr. Burn. This slow feeder bowl has been great. Like, he does really well with it. I'm definitely gonna put a link to this one in the description box, because if any of you have a dog, you should buy this bowl. Okay, sit, sit, sit. Good boy. <laughs> See, and then he has to like work his way around it to get everything. It's like so much better. Whoever told me about this, thank you. Okay, so I'm very concerned right now. Bernie, I look down and Bernie had picked up, well, this is because I'm an idiot, but I put this one upside down and there are these like little plastic things that you put on here and it makes sense now. I was like, why are they there? But it makes sense because they were suction cups and it was supposed to be flipped upside down. Anyway, Bernie flicked them right off because they're not like sturdily on there. Because um, they were totally in the wrong spot, which was my fault, like I said. And he like pulled a few of them off. And I got three out of the four from him and he was chewing on one when I got it from him. So I'm really concerned that he ate it. It's really, really small, like tiny and I was reading online that most of the times they'll just pass it if it can go through their mouth it should come out so I gave him some yogurt as a probiotic to just kind of move his system along and hopefully it comes out but it's really nerve-wracking as a puppy parent don't want him to get a blockage or anything um, but I'm gonna keep a close eye on him if anything happens I obviously will bring him to the vet if he starts acting different whatsoever but he's fine right now so we'll see Mr. Bernie is excited about his delicious Kong tonight that Kendall made. That even looks good to me, honestly. What is it? Like peanut butter, Cheerios, frozen? Is there any dog food? Is there any no. dog food? No, it's just Cheerios, apple sauce inside, and then peanut butter on the top and bottom. And there's there's crushed up Cheerios inside the apple Sit. Like the treat. 
Hopefully it'll help his little sit, system no. move faster and get that whatever no. that is out. And we need to be looking for it in his sit. Shit, by the way. Sit. Good boy. Oh. So everything is fine. I know I look like shit right now, but I've had a really bad day so far. Everything's going to be fine, though. These vlogs are so fucked up. I feel like I've just messed it up so bad. I haven't been vlogging. I haven't been posting a new vlog every day. Like, this is probably going to be another combined one, and I'm probably going to do nothing today. I had plans for tonight, and I'm not. I'm canceling everything. Last night, um, Bernie ate that little tiny piece of plastic. Just see if it passes. And then if it doesn't, if he starts throwing up, bring him in. So we thought he was completely fine because last night he pooped, which means like his, his system was fine. And then he ate more afterwards, and if he can keep that down, that's all good. So then he threw, he pooped this morning before Josh left for work, so I thought everything was fine. And then most days I have him in the bathroom with me while I shower and get ready. And he was fine, he was just cruising on the bathroom playing, and then all of a sudden he started throwing up. Sorry, I just feel so bad. It was like totally my fault because I set up that furniture wrong and I didn't even realize the pieces could come off and he totally ate one because of me. And so I started panicking and I called Josh and Josh met me at the emergency vet. We just brought him there and I didn't want to vlog or do anything because I just wanted to focus on him and um, he was okay, I think. The vets were really, really nice and you know, like dogs eat so many things. They were like, this you know, happens all the time and calmed me down because I was hysterically crying. I felt so, I thought it was my fault. She said that a, they had a dog yesterday who ate an entire glass, like a glass broke and he ate all the glass shards. So anyway, we paid for an x-ray just to be on the safe side. I will put it, insert of the x-ray because I asked for it on a disc plate. It's like a floor stopper thing. It's like those things you put on the floor so furniture doesn't move, but I had the bottom piece of the furniture upside down so it was on the top, like loosely sitting there and he pulled one off. So, she said that she was really happy with the x-ray, that it looked like it had already passed through his stomach and was just, just needs to come out and it's going to take time and we have to like search his poop the next like two days. The vet said that she thinks he looks fine. Um, we're going to, you know, monitor him, look through his poop and then make sure he's not throwing up and still eating and everything and if all is fine, um, then we should be good to go. He should pass it, she said. Um, if for whatever reason he didn't or he doesn't we're gonna have to get surgery and we'll take him immediately if there's any Throwing up or anything so it's just been really stressful like I'm not used to having a puppy there a lot of work It's like literally having a baby and you can be as protective as you can and they'll still find a way to get into something So I will update you guys on Twitter and like snapchat or whatever so make sure you're following me outside of that if you want to know updates, but you know, just send us positive vibes. I think he's going to be okay. But that's it for now. And um, I hope you guys are having a good day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.